Let's talk about the shakeup at the top of the Tennessee Valley Authority and how the merger between Progress and Duke Energy fits into that. And maybe you can fill us in a bit on the response that the Blue Ridge Environmental Defense League has had. There's been a new chairman of Tennessee Valley Authority who uh, previously came from Progress, and he drove Progress into the ground uh, by um, allowing Crystal River Unit 3 to um, to, to sit for four years uh, when it couldn't be repaired and also pumping a couple billion dollars into Levy County, a, um, an AP-1000 plant in, in Florida. It was uh, TVA uh, announced back in November last year, 2012, that they had uh, hired William D. Johnson, uh, Bill Johnson, the former chairman and the chief executive officer of Progress Energy, uh, to become president and CEO of TVA. This was to be effective January of this year. So um, the way that meeting happened, uh, the way that decision was made is highly questionable to begin with, Arnie. Um, but they hired uh, the former Progress CEO who was fired by Duke within a matter of hours after the, the Duke and Progress merger had occurred um, and uh, without even a formal meeting without a formal vote TVA did this uh, and hired this man uh, using a procedure which is called notational procedure in other words members of the TVA board uh, cast votes without any deliberation or discussion they voted separately and according to the TVA statements and, the, and a review by the their inspector general uh, they meant that they could not discuss the candidates' qualifications uh, or otherwise deliberate with one another about the selection. Basically, the board hired uh, a pig in a poke and agreed to pay him millions of dollars uh, without even so much as a conversation. So that is questionable there. This is this was one that sent off alarm bells all across uh, uh, the area that, that Blue Ridge works in, which includes you know Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia. And, uh, and elsewhere. Hang on here, Lou. Um, you, so you're telling me that the guy who drove Progress Energy into the, in, into the ditch, who then got a job with Duke that he was thrown out of after he had been on the job for all of about six hours, was hired by Tennessee Valley Authority without deliberation? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure I got that clear. <laughs> But the whole the Duke and Progress um, merger is 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 equally uh, suspicious uh, because the way it happened, uh, you know, the TV uh, Duke Energy and and Progress Energy have uh, created a, this giant uh, investor-owned utility. In fact, it. It is now the largest investor-owned utility on the planet, and that's according to the present CEO, Jim Rogers, of Duke Energy, of the merged corporation. Um, it was a $26 billion merger between these two companies with headquarters in, in North Carolina, but uh, with operations all over the eastern United States. Um, so the merger happened, and with, as you said, within a matter of hours, uh, the man who was supposed to be CEO of that merged company, uh, Bill Johnson, within a matter of hours, he was booted. Um, it was kind of a boardroom coup, I think the Wall Street Journal uh, described it as. Um, and they replaced him with Jim Rogers, who had run Duke Energy 